Did you see that new box we got in yesterday over there? That's a big one. What do you think? Should we go open it? Let's do it. So this is a pretty big box. If I put my phone here in the phone holder I normally use, we wouldn't even be able to see anything. So, I will open it up. And we can have a look at what's inside. It's like Russian nesting dolls. Inside that box was another smaller box. <laughs> All right. Wow. That is an actual user manual. All right, so here's the power supply on Amazon. This is the adjustable linear DC power supply, digital regulated lab grade, 30 volt, 5 amp, with triple output, four digit display with series and parallel mode. That's a lot to say. Anyways, it is uh, $269. If we come down here, we look at some of these uh, features. We have resolution of 10 millivolt, 1 milliamp, four digit display. Voltage accuracy is 0.03% plus 10 millivolt. Current accuracy, 0.1% plus 5 milliamp. Over current protection, constant voltage, constant current, no external attachment, channel one and two output can be controlled independently. These two channels are automatically connected on series or parallel by the switch inside the machine. Okay. Multi protection functions, grounding wire, overheat, over voltage, over current, short circuit, good. Pure copper terminals, high quality cables, three year warranty. So all in all, it looks like a pretty cool little power supply. Here's the rear panel. Now you'll notice when you look on ours, ours has the options for um, some serial communications built in, but it's not there. So reviews, it gets a 4.1 out of five stars. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Not a lot of reviews, but we will check it out ourselves. Cool. So there it is, and as you can see, she is a big girl. We're looking almost 10 inches wide, 6 inches high, and 12 inches long. Up, way bigger and heavier than my other power supply. This is all made out of metal. If you take a look here, on the back, you can see we have an RS-485, 232, USB, all that kind of good stuff. We have our AC selector, so it's usable in the UK or the US, our AC input. Cooling fan in there. And then if we look at the front, we have current. And voltage for one channel current and voltage for the other input or outputs on and off over here we have a independent series or parallel switch depending on the state of the LED we have our power switch we have channel 1 channel 2 channel 3 and a ground. Okay, so I'm looking this over and I'm reading through the manual with all the different features and whatnot. So we have channel one, which is our uh, adjustable, channel two, which is adjustable, and channel three, which is five volt, three amps all the time. There's no independent current adjust. We can do our overcurrent protection.
Okay, there we go. So if we want to set this for... one amp we can do that same for the voltage we can set that wherever we want yeah so there's one at one amp 10 volts we have our output on off switch here you can see we're in constant voltage mode. Output is on. The green LEDs they use here are a little dim. So now we have this set for 10 volts, 1 amp. Let's do the same for this one. And same here. We'll set this one down to 10 volts. And now what I can do is I can use this switch over here to put these in parallel. And you see now we're in parallel at 2.2 amps, max 11 volts. The output is controlled by button 2, and it is now on. Why would you need this? Well, this allows you to set up a uh, split rail power supply. You can have, you know, positive voltage negative voltage great for working with op amps and stuff like that and that was just something that i came through while reading in the book all right moving on okay so i've hooked up a 10 watt 10 ohm ceramic power resistor channel one which i have set for five volts one amp powered up Oh, it's an AC. There we go. So, 5 volts. Take it up. Take 10 volts. We see we're at 9.77. Right on at 1 amp. Take it up again at 15 volts. No, because of our current limiting. Hang on. We'll just let the current go. Should be good. 15.02. It's all very close is, is what I'm getting at. So we'll take it up to 25 volts, give it a shot. 25.01. Burning my resistor a little bit, but other than that, we're going pretty good here. Let's check the other channels, see how well they match. So right here, we're looking at the channel 1 output. And you can see it has the standard uh, binding posts. It's got 4 millimeter banana jacks. And the binding posts also have a hole in them so that you can slip a wire through, which is exactly what I did. And the binding posts are captured. No, they're not. <laughs> I thought they were captured. My bad. They are not captured, so they can fall off, and that's something that, you know, you kind of need to be aware of. All right, we are now set up in channel two. We'll do the exact same thing. We'll start with... Uh, 5 volts, comes right on at 5, take it up to 10, that's interesting, oh that's my bad, thought I had it on 10, there we go, 10.01, Fifteen volts. 
1501. And finally, we'll run it up to 25 with a quickness. 2502. So, no matter how you look at it, this thing is very, very accurate. Oh, hey, let's check that, uh, that locked output, right? One second. Okay, as you can see, I've done the same thing, and I've hooked our resistor up to output number three, which is just locked on at five volts at three amps. It'll make a nice charging port for your phones, right? So it comes with a power cord, obviously, which we've plugged into the wall back there. You also get a set of four millimeter banana plugs to alligator clips. You actually get three sets of those, so that is what is included, along with the manual, which is incredible. I haven't seen a manual like this since the 80s. Now, the first time I turned this on, the fan was really loud, and then it got quiet, so let's see if it does it again. Yep, there it is. And then there it goes back down to normal. So it's a speed controlled fan. Must be a thermistor or something in there. We say we go inside and see what makes her tick, huh? Okay, so here's a look at the inside. And what is the first thing that catches your attention? This massive toroidal transformer that is secured through the case with a really big bolt and a... Uh, not and the bolt comes through on the bottom now back here we have our relays and if you can really see them we get in here a little better one moment okay so we have relays we have a massive 6800 microfarad 63 volt uh, filter cap you can see our current shunts here and over here are our switching FETs, so I get a better view. All right, so here's a little bonus. If I can get you in here and get you able to see those transistors in there. Can you read that? D1047? That's not a FET. That is, in fact, an NPN bipolar transistor. It is from uh, ST Electronics. It's the 2SD1047. It is a high-power NPN epitaxial planar bipolar transistor. And what's cool about it is this is manufactured using what's called BITLA technology. That stands for Bipolar Transistor for Linear Amplifier. And what this does is it gives you an incredible linear usage across the entire uh, zone from the transistor. Of course, not in saturation or cutoff, but when you're right there in the middle, this is going to give you very linear steps. It's not going to be like an old style stereo where you turned it up, turned it up, turned it up, you got nothing, 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 then boom, it was all there. They have specifically made these so that the smallest change in the dial represents the smallest change in the transistor itself linear linearity these are fully characterized at 125 degrees celsius so they're made to run hot let's see if i can get some more information about them uh collector base voltage is 200 collector emitter is 140 emitter base is 6 volts collector current 12 amps collector peak current is 20 amps total dissipate dissipation i can't talk at 25 degrees c is 100 watts uh, maximum junction temperature is 150 C, so yeah, they're made to run hot. It's very cool. All right, what else can we see in here? All this up here is just display driver board. Okay, if you look here, you'll see we've got our relays, filter capacitor, some big resistors are shunts and then we've got three of our switching transistors but if we come over here to the other side take me to the other side sorry can't help myself sometimes 
we've got one, two, three, four relays, more resistors, but down in here, see how well you can see. That is a full bridge rectifier. Interesting. So we've got three of the D107s here. We have four here. We have an extra one here mounted on the heat sink. Interesting. Very, very interesting. All right. Let me put this heavy thing back together. And in case you haven't noticed or realized, or sussed it out for yourself. This is a linear power supply. So if you're a radio type guy, this is the kind of supply that you want in your shop. That was a little tricky to put back together. Had to do some adjustments to get the case to sit on there properly. But now that I have, it's good. And I can honestly tell you guys, this is one of the best pieces of electronic technology I've seen come out of China. It is <clears throat> well thought out, well constructed, with quality components. This is something I could have seen sitting on my desk when I was a working engineer. Yeah, this is a nice power supply. $269 for something this nice. I mean, the only thing that I would add to this if I could would be you know, a little bit of programmability, but it's not necessary. That's, that's just a little bit icing on the cake. This thing's got what you need. It's good. Yeah, I very, very rarely give anything, you know, my full thumbs up. Find caveats with everything. And I, and I found a couple little ones with this one. Mostly in the fit and finish, but not in the construction or the engineering of it. This, this is a nice piece of gear. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to Matrix for sending this out to us. That's it. I'm out. Peace.